Hey guys and welcome back to a new Costco Canada haul. In today's video I'm sharing my weekly haul, some of my new favorite items and I'm sharing a couple recipes as well. This week I got two bunches of organic bananas. I was so happy these are back in stock but they totally bruised up my bananas as they were loading my cart this go around. I don't know what happened but it was a complete fail and that's okay. I also got some red grapes this week. These looked really good. The price was affordable and the produce was not good this time around so I just grabbed whatever looked good and fresh like this ginger. We needed more ginger so I picked some up. I also grabbed a bag of limes and lemons. They're right next to each other but I only showed you the lemons. And then I also grabbed a container of golden kiwi. We've never tried this before. It's been recommended that we should and so we're gonna try it. And we also picked up some cherries. These are just a staple for us right now and surprisingly they were one of the fresh options as well as this corn. I'm not gonna be buying corn much longer at Costco. I prefer prefer to support my local farm and buy corn there or I also buy corn at the farmer's market when we go pretty much every single weekend. This week I wanted meal times and just veggies to be super simple so I got a two pack of this sweet kale salad. I love this. That's like three days worth of salad right there. And then I also picked up this creamy dill pickle salad. You know I love this. It's by the brand Taylor Farms and this is like lunches for me. So I have two lunches for the work week and I'm going to have some salad. So I also picked up some lamb spadici. This is a weekly staple of ours and sometimes I go back and pick up another box. This week I also got some Kirkland Signature shredded mozzarella. I'm going to share a recipe in this video. I'm going to make some baked ziti and I'm using that mozzarella for that. And it's a weekly staple for us to get some organic 2% milk so I went ahead and picked that up more. We've been going through milk a lot lately. You'll see why in a little. And then I also picked up some Trident gum. You know this is our favorite one at Costco and it was on sale so I picked it up. I think our favorite flavor hands down is definitely this orange pack and probably this blue pack underneath. They always go first. And this week I also picked up some more aluminum foil. I just opened my last package and it was on sale so I picked up some more. Next up I also got some of these Bic Pastel highlighters. I've been eyeing these for a while. I featured them before in several videos. They were $12.99 but now they're on sale for $9.99. So if you already went ahead and picked it up make sure on your next shop you ask for your price adjustment because it is on sale and you can get that money back. This week I also picked up some Rice Krispie treats. These haven't been in the warehouse for well over six months and I've been wanting to make some Rice Krispie treats. So I'm going to share that recipe at the end of this video as well. So stick around. It's super easy. I just follow the box, do my own thing and it tastes delicious every single time. I'm just showing you here that the box already opened up and pretty much all the boxes in the warehouse were opening up. There was just bad packaging this time. And I also picked up some Frosted Flakes cereal. This is a rare thing you'll find here for me, but I'm craving it so I picked it up. And this week in the warehouse they also had some French Can Can popcorn so I grabbed two different flavors this time. I grabbed the spicy jalapeno and the cheddar green onion and so the cheddar green onion my girls absolutely love and I grabbed the spicy jalapeno for me but it turns out that everyone likes the spicy one too. So that's it for the produce. I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to be back for some other items I grabbed this week. First up I grabbed two curtain rods. These are for blackout curtains and I decided to get this because our curtain rods are struggling. Our kids have destroyed them and now that this is on sale I really want to make sure I get it now or I'm going to regret it. And so I grabbed two of those to replace. I'll show you that after in a bit. I also decided this week to pick up more of these baskets by the brand Mesa or Misa. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but I do love their products and I find that I buy their home products all the time. 
These baskets were such a great buy. I couldn't help but pick up more while they were marked down. And as a bonus, they would also make as a great Christmas gift idea. In the event you're looking for Christmas gifts ideas, this would be great for an organization junkie. They would love this. And it's like really nice home decor. So I have them right now on our bookshelf, storing away things that I don't want the kids to see are there or have access to super easily. It creates like a less clutter space for me and it makes me happy. Now let's take a quick look at the before curtain rods and the after, and then I'm gonna share some other areas of my home with you as well. On our kitchen counter, I have the new wooden crates I purchased last week displayed here along with those new bowls and my cutting boards and wooden spatulas and things like that. I wanted a Pinterest worthy corner of my kitchen so I stole that corner for myself. And for all my work stuff that I do behind the scenes and then on this side is where we have all of our kitchen appliances. So in these crates we have the collagen that I use, it's by the brand Organica. I love it, it's on sale this month and I've already featured it in my what's new in August video. And then the greens powder is also from Costco and then these two muscle and sport powders are from Amazon that my husband orders and we have them like after workouts and stuff like that. And then this crate is empty. I have to transfer some things over into it and put it up next to where we have our microwave. I also wanted to share where I store my lemons and limes and like the other produce that I wanna keep fresh for a longer time. I store it in a drawer in my fridge. And I find doing this just helps keep things around for a longer time, especially those expensive coscados that we love so much. Now let's make some quick and easy baked ziti and some Rice Krispie treats that your entire family is going to love.
I like to go the extra mile and spray my aluminum foil with oil to ensure it doesn't steal my top layer of cheese, which is my favorite part of any baked pasta dish. I personally love making my big ziti this way. It's just foolproof, super simple. You can even call it lazy if you want, but it's quick and easy. And it's a great way to use up the half of the ricotta cheese that you have left in a container. Or if you just have the basic ingredients, this is a great way to get comfort food without sacrificing on flavor and taste. It's just so good and I love it so much. Now let's make some homemade Rice Krispie treats. My girls and I will eat this all in two days. It's just that good and you'll never buy store-bought Rice Krispie treats again. It's so easy. You're gonna love this one. We prefer not to slice this up because at home there are no limits when it's homemade. We literally just like to pull it apart like this and go back for seconds and thirds, enjoy them whenever we want because we made them and they're just that good, you all. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying my easy baked ziti recipe or my rice crispy recipe, which is literally the recipe from the box. Thank you all so much for spending your time here with me and watching this haul. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.